are off to Bristol to do some homeware shopping. This I quite like and it's £18. I never understand what these glass things are for, Kaz. Do you have any idea? No, I don't actually. Is it meant to capture the smell? That seems a little bit steep. I don't think I can do that. I want to guess that they're affordable so I'll buy them. Oh my goodness. Hello. We don't have this in Cardiff. That could go really nicely in someone's house. But not us. Not mine. <laughs> So should I have them all as well? That's all right, already creating a lot of mess there. Oh Brilliant, gosh. it oh is no. snowing in our living room. <laughs> Hello guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today we are off to Bristol to do some homeware shopping. We thought today that we would try out some luxury homeware shops. We're not too sure. I've made a little list of the shops that they've got there, such as like White Company, Oliver Bonus, those type of shops. Oh, Oliver Bonus! Oliver Bonus! We've actually never bought anything from Oliver Bonus. Uh, I've been We've bought had something. We have. A nice mug from your sister for my birthday. You did? I did. And she bought us a little like wine store oh, ages ago. Someone likes Oliver Bonas. She does, she loves it. Yeah. Uh, that's my sister. So, our kind of homeware slash home decor can range literally from charity shop DIY stuff yeah. to, I don't know, white company stuff, say for example. Um, and I think we, since the new house, we have loved the idea of buying things that we like want to keep forever. So we've yeah, been like trying to buy investment pieces. Exactly, we've been trying to yeah. buy more investment pieces. But that's not to say that a lot of the time we don't walk into places like White Company and we're like, what the heck? Like when we walked so in and there was the freaking <laughs> twig for thirty-eight pounds, and I was like, mm. that's just what I'm doing. <gasps> Shut up! Shut! Shut up! Shut up now! <laughs> oh, James, it's a twig. Yeah, it's we so have fun. bought like a couple of White Company candles yeah. before. Oh. But we thought what could be really fun is like just, just to try out some yeah. other kind of luxury homeware shops and just see if they're worth it, you know, see yeah. if they're worth it to us. Yeah, exactly. See if we can find any investment pieces. Exactly. Okay, so we're just arriving at Cribs Causeway and we're just parking up and it reminded me of a really funny story Which I don't think I ever told you guys um, This happened a little while ago last year uh, I was like doing my whole gonna be independent because you guys know I don't do a lot without James I seriously don't do a lot without James I really struggle to drive places on my own and like it's just all the palaver and I really struggle I get anxiety and everything like that I was like whoa gonna go on my own to Cribs Causeway. It's like an hour drive away gonna meet my friend I was like this is gonna be a good day drove all the way there only when I got there and parked, which is a palaver in itself for me, I parked the car. The parking wasn't great because it's me and I can't park. Can't park yeah. I stopped the car and I was like, you know what, breathe, just restart the car, wait till it's a bit quieter and repark. Realised I didn't have keys with me. We don't even know to this day how this happened. I know how it's happened. How? I don't know how the car allowed you to drive. That's what I'm saying. That's what's so frustrating. So I, it, the car allowed me to drive the whole push, way push button cars which everyone thinks are so smart until oh you don't have the keys in the car yeah i drove the whole way to cribs causeway without the keys in the car yeah. i couldn't restart the car my yeah. parking was absolutely awful i was in a palaver i had to ring james i was like right no keys yeah. can't move the car come and help I me i know how it happened see it was <laughs> yeah, i set up your sat nav for you and i was like this is where you're gonna go the route's all good yeah you did and I, so i unlocked the car i yeah. had the keys and then you took and them. i started the engine so i could set up your sat nav and then I just kept the keys in my hand and oh. went and went back in with them. Because you're so used to having them usually. So I just I had don't to know drive how the... then all the way to Bristol in my car to give Karis yeah. the keys for her car. But it was my fault. Something that Karis yeah, it did, was. which seemed very Karis like was actually my fault. <laughs> but it was just a classic palaver of me yeah. trying to do something on my own. It was just the biggest fail, wasn't it? I'm sorry. That didn't help with your anxiety. It was a hilarious. Yeah. Luckily, like... no one nicked the car or anything from it, seeing as it was open for I know. an hour. I just was like, I'm going shopping. Just come with me. I'm not staying near the car. <laughs> anyway, today's gonna be a better experience, and we're gonna go inside. So we're out on the prowl. Yes. We're gonna go to White Company first, which is coming up right here. So potentially one of our faves. We have bought a few things for White Company in the past, but we maybe have. candles. I'm looking for candles. Are you? So what other kind of homeware bits are you looking for? You don't know? I don't Just see know. kind of what takes your vibe. This it? looks like a much bigger one than our one in it's Cardiff, so. Same size. No, yeah. it looks way bigger. Come on. Stuff, maybe. Yeah. Ooh. So they've got loads of homeware in this mm -hmm. one. This I feel like is the typical item that like it's eighty-five pounds, and because it's just plain glass, I'm like you can get that in IKEA for like a pound, and it would kind of feel the same. But is it shaped as nicely? <sighs> Does it have probably the same curvature? It doesn't look like Do that like funky a curvature. White company seems very good for white items. <sighs> like a lot of their stuff's white. That is one of your dad jokes. Please tell me. Salt and pepper. 
white. Yeah, well, it is a vibe, James, and that's what we like in our house: white, neutrals. I know they've got like white and neutrals and black, and they're just my vibe. I like these colours. Whereas this, I quite like, and it's eighteen pounds. What do you think, Boo? What would you do with it? Put a plant in it. Yeah, I don't really know what it's for though. It's a plant pot, isn't it? It's just like I feel like they've got quite a range of prices here, so you kind of just have to look at what you fancy, yes. you know? The fake flowers can be a little pricey. We did see a twig for £38. Yes. So we do now avoid those at all costs. I've actually avoided looking at the prices whatsoever of the twigs. I never understand what these glass things are for, Kaz. Do you have any idea? No, I don't actually. Is it meant to capture the smell? That's no, what I'm wondering. I think this. it's meant to put them out. It, it, see, that's kind of what I thought, but then why oxygen. have them on an. And they've got the thing, so I reckon it's meant to be like, oh, I'm going to quickly smell it, and then you're meant to bend down and put your nose to it and open it to smell it. It kind of traps the smell in. Oh, yeah, I think that does, actually. Yeah, that's what I reckon it is. It traps the smell yeah, in. Do, how is that for home? I don't think they are for sale for oh, home. Maybe they're not. You're so clever. Because you're right, like a candle wouldn't burn in there because it was run out of oxygen. No, yeah, I think it's to put them out, though, when you put out the candle. But then you just blow. Yeah, I know, but it's not a few well, How would you pay, like, £40 for it? to blow. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Right. We have this and I actually love it. Yeah, that is incredible um, to be which, fair. How much was this? Like 20 pounds? Oh, I'd actually gosh. honestly say you need like one spray and it's so strong. Yeah, it is. I, I can smell it walking out of the toilet like and you've sprayed it yeah, once or bedroom. twice. Yeah. So they're the sleep sprays and they're really cool. They are nice to be fair, even I like them. As a butch guy. These are some of my favourite type of candles to buy from White Company. They're the ones that you just put on a little plate and they just have all the cool like fruits they and stuff good. in them. How much is this size? I can't remember. 20 pounds. No, that's the one above. 28. So this size is 28, which is obviously quite pricey, oh, very pricey for a candle, but I have had, while, yeah, I've had a lot of experience with yeah. the candles and I honestly think it's worth it. Let's get to get a plate. Oh. Go to the place. Six. We've got a little plate. That's not bad because they're really cute and nice. Okay, six they pounds. Are, it's just a plain. Because they fit perfectly, which is why they look so good. Yeah, that's true. Like made for each other, you know. They, they are. To be. They're like me and you, boo. Yeah. Lime and bay. Oh, these. I've always wanted to get a Lime big one. Bay. Hi, yeah. Bay. Right, bay. Oh, I'm me and my bay. Smell it, boo. Do you like this flavour? Let me give it a whiff. That's quite a disappointing smell. For it's not much smell quite, going on. Mm. I often say, I've, I often find I say it's quite fresh if I basically yeah, can't smell the candle. Basically, if it just I'm smells like, like mm. plastic, it just smells fresh. It's quite fresh. Yeah, I think they all just smell like plastic though. Fresh, yeah, <laughs> quite fresh. Well, you can test the smells maybe if you find the. Yeah, they do have some. Like that yeah. is the lime and bay. Yeah, so there you go. Give it a whiff. Always a bay and lime. Because I really want to get a big one. It still just smells fresh. Oh, that does just smell fresh, but it's nice fresh. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay so we found this other big one called Seychelles, which we just smelled the small candle of and it smells insane. It's like a really nice vanilla we sweet smell. We were supposed to holiday to Seychelles. Did we? Seychelles. Yeah. Seychelles. We're going to go for one of the bigger ones because I've always wanted to try and see what they're like, whether it's worth spending the extra for a mahoosive one, how long it lasts, the yes. smell. Oh, so I just jumped it on the wall. The, price. So the, price is the little price. things just keep falling off. It's I just know. weird breaking them all. So here's a wick trimmer, guys. 15 quid. A lot of you DM'd me the other day when I was showing my candle saying that I needed to get a wick trimmer and trim my wicks because apparently so my wicks, what is it? Sorry, probably got it, ready? Oh. Oh. Pass the bill. Don't okay, spray it in my face. Ready? Go, walk. Oh, that's it sweet. Good, Did you guys smell that? <laughs> that smelled good, didn't it? <laughs> it sounds like a children's TV show. Did you guys smell that? <laughs> Well, I, what was that though? A room spray? Yeah. Nice. Anyway, back to my amazing wick cutting content. I'm just thinking maybe I could get one off Amazon for a lot cheaper because this one's 15 quid, but let me know. I do I need a wick trimmer? What size do I trim my wick to, guys? Scissors. I'm not sure, James. This yeah, is very intense. Like clip of scissors. I feel like I do it quite well. Oh, that's quite a good idea, actually. Mm, not sure. Let us know, guys, because you guys seem to know everything. So having a look at the photo frames. I quite like these. They're quite okay. smart. But like, they don't, they don't feel incredible. They look smart, but they don't feel incredible. Yeah. That's much there. Oh, that one. For the small one. That one. The smallest one. Uh, ten pounds. Thirty. No. Yes. Stop it. Yes. No. I must. I won't stop it. Oh my goodness! Stop it now, James. You're fooling with me. He's not. There it is, boom, 30 quid. The camera wasn't quick enough to focus, you but. Won't be buying paintings. That is a shame, actually, because I was it literally is. just going to say. I thought it was so fragile. See, I think these would be Oh, black. they're so More smart. Impressive. The black ones just look a bit cheap. Look. But the silver edge ones look smart. But this looks smart. That's no. No? I wouldn't say so. I think the silver ones do look smarter. They look smart. They look more like they're more to them. 
but I was just saying to James that I bought my ones from the range for like a couple of pounds mm -hmm. and at the time I was like it's only plain black I won't make a difference and I feel like they literally ruined the photos yeah, they, don't look that great. <laughs> they don't look great so I can understand paying a little bit more for a nice photo frame but that seems a little bit steep I don't think I can do that what else would you want to buy from white company a guard oh my gosh yeah it's got a little heart, got on, a heart it. on it I know yeah but how much is that though let me guess 20 pounds 18. <gasps> Not okay. bad. Get two. Should we have really Not bad, hun. Does it feel good? I can't really Tr feel it properly because I'm kind of well, things. Just that hand on it's that. Just it's just a quite nice blind. I don't it's think I want one though, no. you know? I don't. And then you break it and if you just feel a little bit heartbroken. Yeah. Just, and Q. just popped being cute for one of those, isn't it? Okay, guys, so although I said I wasn't going to look at the flowers, these have been catching my eye ever since we walked in, and these as well. Oh, and I'm, big flowers, yeah. Yeah. I'm getting James to reveal the prices to me. Can I have a guess? Let's go this one. I want to guess that they're affordable, so I'll buy them. This one? Which one, the small one? Yeah. Um, I'm just thrown off by the £38 twig from last time, so I'm going to say £15. So? 15 pounds. So would you pay 15 pounds for them? Yeah. I don't know if I would, but I really like them. Because they're, they're ones that, they're, they're the only fake plants that I'll go for now. Like wispy dried okay. plants, because they actually look real. Okay. Even though they're fake. They might even be real. I'm not sure. 12 pounds. <gasps> 15 pounds. Why was the twig 38 pounds? Why are these 15 and 12 pounds? Yeah, okay, it's quite expensive to be fair. <laughs> but the twig was literally like that big and it was like 38 pounds. So you're tempted? Oh, I am quite tempted actually. Because like they're Where would you put them. We've got so many real plants and fake plants. Yeah, but they're small so they can go in nice little like thin vases. Okay. Oh, I am tempted. Guys, look, because that looks cute. It looks like neutral as well. Oh, I'm unsure. I'll think about it. Ooh, ooh. Hey guys, we have our white company goodie bags. We'll show you everything we got. I mean, it's obvious what I got in this one. <laughs> They're just like popping out. Um, we'll show you what we... Oh my gosh, that is so heavy. Take that off me this now. So oh my goodness, why is that so heavy? You just holding this like this and I was like, here we go. <laughs> that one's so heavy. We'll show you everything we pick up. Um, at home and where we put them all at home <laughs> later on but we're doing well so far oh my goodness hello we don't have this in cardiff it's the shake lab yo whoa chocolate orange oh, really <gasps> heaven okay, next we have john lewis james is just plodding on without me um so we love a bit of john lewis not gonna lie boo you're gonna have to speak up there's a lot here to get through there's a lot here to get through i just repeated yeah. exactly what you said no not no. quite with the theme of our decor. Not quite the plain, simple colours. Not quite, no. but also Easter vibes. How about Twenty-five pound for a wreath. Hmm. Hmm. <gasps> hey. Oh. It's a bunny made of artificial grass. Feel it? Oh no, thanks. That's so. It oh, James, that was itchy. Is it? Oh, oh <laughs> very itchy. It's weird. The eyes, the googly eyes. Oh, are... I like Easter stuff, but it always seems just a little bit. I like Easter eggs. Easter stuff, oh. but it always seems chocolatey. No, <laughs> it always seems like a waste of money to spend money on Easter mm. decor when it's only up for so short amount of time, like literally a weekend. But Easter gin and mini eggs. That's a so bit of a shout. Be for They'll be, they be up for 10 minutes. They can <laughs> That's true. Got some vases here, Kaz. What do you think? How about a daffodil vase? We do love a good daffodil. Oh, that's not yeah? really cute. Guess how much a daffodil vase is, Kaz? Mm. This lovely vase. £20. Pounds. Looks quite sturdy to be fair. That's decent. Oh. 49. You know, how about this little bargain over here, okay? Yeah. Come on, have a look at the bargain. This brutal okay. object. Yeah, what would you pay oh. for that? Feel, feel the weight. Bloody oh my yuck. god, I can tell that's going to be expensive yeah. though. That actually looks expensive. It's okay. shining. Yeah. It's shine bright. Look at what the. Can I just say mini versions of those for £100? Tumblers. But actually. £92 for that's two. Bloody actually £65. Heck. Pounds. Oh my gosh, no, it's not. Look, are you meant to guess? But it's on offer for £35. And that is a pretty lovely vase, isn't it? I actually really like I that. I really like it, and you can get such a nice bunch of flowers in there. I thought that was going to be like a hundred pounds because I saw that, and then I realised that said candlestick yeah. for sixty-five. Yeah. So I thought, oh my god, if that's the candlestick. For no, it's down from seventy to thirty-five. I think that's good. It's I think cute. we should potentially think about it because I'm thinking it's some nice. Is it? I quite like it. I think it's smart. I think it's it's timeless. You know. Timeless we babe. Are. We are timeless and the vase is timeless. Right, Kavis and I have been on the lookout for a washing basket for quite a while. I cannot believe how expensive they all are. All of them, wherever you go. This, this, lovely, don't get me wrong, decent. Nice colour. 150 quid. Like, what is that? Do you know the thing is, even in home sense though, these I are like know. 60 pounds. I know, what I'm saying, anywhere you go, anywhere you go. Like, are they made of gold? 85 pounds. These are nice. Like, like what's going on? 
Oh, see, I don't like that one. No, I like the colour of... I, think I like the colour of that one, but then I like the lid of that one. So this is a tough one, you know? Hey, hey. Funky for the toilet. Toilet brush. It's a shame I'm just not that funky. <laughs> I think it's quite cool, to be fair. <laughs> that could go really nicely in someone's house. But not ours. Not mine. <laughs> okay. Karis is vibing these gold vases. I quite like them to be fair. Sorry, Although again, Karis, do you know how many vases we have in our house? Two. I've got new flowers. Right, okay. Also, these are like decor. But then, what's the price? What are you guessing? Okay, nice. No, no, don't look. Have Hang a guess. On. Um, 30? Can I have a guess? Yeah. 30? Mm. 40? 20? 35. I'll what are you it. going? 50. 50, no. It doesn't look or feel that good. No, I no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, little one. It's You'll have shame. to wait for your forever home. Okay, what about? That's cute as well. I like that. That is cute. What are you going to say? No, I don't know. I think it's quite ugly. Yeah. Sorry, the camera's not focusing. One sec. Okay, can't see its ugliness. Yeah, I think that's quite ugly. But this. Okay, I know you're going to say it's pointless. Pointless? But I've actually been looking for a matte black small one. To go where exactly? To have. I don't know. <laughs> How much is it? 12. 15. Hmm. So small. I know, so pointless. Much small, much pointless. <laughs> so unfortunately, we're kind of struggling to find homeware shops up here. Um, so it just means that we're going to go and have to get some food instead. So Yay! we're going to go get a Nando's, which I don't know if you guys know that we used to go to Nando's constantly, but we haven't actually been for quite a while. Haven't been for a while, so no. I'm quite excited. I know, I'm going to look forward to it. Okay, guys, so. Ooh, that's dark. We're on auto. It's all good. It is now the next day and we just thought we would run you through what we picked up from the shopping, homeware nice, shopping. Nice, nice cup of tea. Oh wow, that's the heavy bag. Yeah, go on babe. Oh, go, yes. go on. Oh. Get, the, get the guns out. Um, we actually only ended up buying from the white company. We you didn't guys really... Were there. You guys know. Yeah, we didn't really buy anything else. <laughs> no. Like, we didn't really. John I don't Lewis, know. they would have just been buying for kind of the point of it. Although we yeah. should have got flat bars. Oh. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of ragrets. Ragrets, vase. vase you know. Yeah, the vase was the only thing that we were considering from John Lewis. But anyway, we just thought we'd show you what we got from. Isn't it boiling in this house? It's hot. I'm not sure what's going on in here, but you're wearing a jumper and a denim jacket. I know, and you're only wearing a t-shirt. Oh, Don't know why God. you're so hot. <laughs> um, okay, so the first thing we got, as you saw, was the white flowers. Love them. Gonna put these out in a minute. Gonna put everything out and show you where we put them. Oh, actually, should we just do them one by one Let's and then do just them show one them? One by one. I just want to see what they look like. Oh, they look so beautiful there. So should I have them all as one? That's all right. Already creating a lot of mess there. Oh Brilliant. Gosh, it oh is no. snowing in our living room. That's really good. Oh, that? well, it's still going. Why is that happening? Guys, thank you so much for all your opinions on our mirrors. This actually helped a lot. Oh, yeah, that did and help a lot. Um, yeah, I think I think we're I think most of you went for the bronze, which is what's currently here. And I think we're vibing that. I think that's what we are likely to go with. Although we're still not hundred percent sure. And Karis is just focusing on her plant. That's quite pretty. But then that's on our piano, and I want to look after our piano so badly, and there's no crack mm. on it. No, I don't like that. <gasps> oh dear, I might have to it's do it. It's on my bit. piano! We might have to do a bit of thinking. Okay. I'm not sure. Give us a second, guys. Right, guys, so we are struggling uh, to find the vase that we like. This, I uh, I'm not too sure what's going on here, Kaz. <laughs> I need a black vase, I think. I'm thinking a black a vase, tall, like, a tall a, black. With a thin... <laughs> Follow me! <laughs> to find where else we are. <laughs> so my original idea for these was to replace these because I know they're only £1.50 to buy from the shops but they die pretty quick. And I yeah, just they thought do. these yeah. have looked so cute with the little white wispy vibes. I just thought you would get away mm -hmm. with. No, I think that's a really good idea. I, why do they molt so much? It's classy! Carlos is currently having a mental breakdown. I am. Oh, that's cute. Oh, though. that is cute. I think that really suits. Yeah. Look at that. It's a bit yeah. darker because the sun comes from the front of the house, but look oh, yeah. at that. So, yes, I don't know how well you can see these because the lighting's not great in this position, but these are the little wispy white ones on this cabinet, which look quite cute. I love those. And we just placed this one down here for now. I'm just going to have to do that another time, guys. <laughs> I love the vibe, but give me suggestions if you have any because. I need some suggestions on what to do. Now, James has opened these. Oh my goodness, they smell insane, literally. Yeah, just from being open. So we picked up this one, um, which was pomegranate, was it? Yes. Pomegranate. And this one, which was the Seychelles one. And then we picked up the little plate. I'm gonna put the big one in the middle of the table because nice. that's like prime position. And then I do have this. This is my old white company candle, which I actually, this is the thing. It burnt right to the bottom, but I also didn't really take care of the wick. 
so you can apparently get a better burning technique if you trim the wick and do everything proper so I'm going to try and do that all proper with my new my new candles so I'm going to exactly boo it's time to start burning babe exactly boo <laughs> so that's how I'm going to leave them on there for now just because when I burn them for the first time I want them to be like centre of the room and me and James also just thought of an idea we're going to save this and we're going to give it to my older sister who hopefully will burn it all melt it all down and make a different candle for us because there's still so much wax left um yeah Oh, fine. <laughs> I was like, yeah, wax it in return. <laughs> no. Keep a small candle for yourself, and we don't have the rest. Actually, that's nice if we let her keep it. <laughs> but she does really like cool candle stuff, so I'm thinking she'll be able to melt that down and make a different candle, which would be far less waste. But yeah, we were just saying, we felt that like we spent a small fortune in White Company, and we've literally just unboxed that, and it feels like nothing. We've got two candles and that piece of lovely... <gasps> The other plant! Oh yeah, plant. <gasps> Don't forget it! My little, like, other wispy plant thing. Goodness knows what that's gonna be, right? I tell Ooh. you what. Boo. Oh yeah, that's actually gonna look cute in there. Done, flop Give over. It. <laughs> Stop it. Let me. Okay, so this is how I've set up this one. It's not like ideal, but I'm still, I'm just gonna update you guys in a future video how when I've- thought has gone into that setter? One second. <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of research on White Company, Pinterest, to see how different people style these, because I'm really only used to styling just plain green plants. Yeah. And I was just saying to James, it just adds a little bit of different, basically, outside planty material without it being green. Because yeah. there's so much green in this room. So there's that one that's new and that one that's new. They look like poo right now. But I will update you when I've learned how to style them so properly. Love that luxury shopping life. Yeah, Aren't we, we just made for it? Hasn't been the most successful video, has it? <sighs> no, boo. I don't feel like a lot of our videos are the most <laughs> successful videos when we set ourselves a challenge. So but if you guys would like to see more unsuccessful videos, then please subscribe and turn and your turn notifications, your notifications on. <laughs> on. We hope that you guys enjoyed today's video nonetheless. And we are very thankful for mm. all your support. And if you're mm. still here watching at the end, we love you. And well done. Like well you done. Why are you still here, hun? <laughs> Please give the video a like. If you did enjoy it, leave us a comment below. We love reading your comments. Any suggestions, you guys know I freaking yes. say it in every video. But I love mm. hearing your suggestions and oh, any yeah. suggestions on those types of plants. And any be great. videos you may like to see from us soon. Mm. Any ideas would be great because we're we're running out. We're running out. As you can tell. This okay. was a great video. <laughs> Love you guys so much and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thanks so much, guys. Bye. Mwah.